All right, everyone, our final exercise in this eight exercise progression to activating your glutes during a deadlift is the deadlift, the conventional stance deadlift. We did a bunch of stuff on the ground. We turned our abs on, we turned our hamstrings on, we positioned the hips so that the glutes could turn on and the hip flexors could turn off. Those hip flexors try to shut my glutes off, so we need to turn them off so that this can be on. Hopefully you followed them. Then we did some single leg Romanian deadlift stuff, helping load the glute in multiple planes of motion making it easier to feel the glute, but not totally looking exactly like a deadlift, right? Then we took a wide stance, we did a sumo stance, so we really shorten the glute. It's really easy to feel there because it squeezes so much as long as you're doing it right, as long as your low back is kind of rounded, heels in the ground, and as long as you're initiating with your hips forward to stand up instead of your shoulders up to stand up. Same principles apply for exercise number eight, the conventional stance deadlift. Conventional is like a hip width or maybe shoulder width stance for your deadlift. This is more difficult now because the glute doesn't get as short. It's not as easy to feel, but it's still very important that I do all these things that we talked about, that I'm setting up with not an arched back, but a flat back, a slightly rounded low back. And I'm initiating off the ground and I bring my hips forward to stand up, right? I'm not initiating with my shoulders up first because that's going to limit me with only my back. I'd prefer it if instead of lifting with my back, my back just holds me there and I lift with my hips. Okay, this one should mostly take care of itself if you've done all the other prep work, the other deadlift warm up work that we needed to do. Um, major cues sometimes I can skip the other seven and I can just go right here, but I can I have to cue it. So it's the same kind of cues. I might just start you here. Maybe we'll even do just the top half of the deadlift, the Romanian deadlift, and I'll say, I need you at the top to really round your back, okay? Oftentimes where people mess this up, they're gonna drop their chest like this and they're gonna crunch their back, but they're not really gonna take this uh, extension, this curve out of their lower back. What I'd rather do, what I might explain to people is that you're kind of doing your rounding up here and I want you to do your rounding down here. Okay, and I'll really emphasize it so that people can kind of see it. The other exercises that we do teach this position. That first exercise, the rock back, that's like my favorite one for teaching this position. The glute bridge, I love teaching that. Everyone's kind of familiar with that pattern. And if you can learn how to initiate with the tailbone, then you can really figure out how to start cueing that bring the hips thing and how to find that position at the top of the deadlift. Okay, so if you can't get in that position, just standing there, I'm, I'm kind of worried. Uh, then I'm gonna bring you to the, these other exercises. I might let you do a couple reps and see if that kind of loosens you up. And sometimes it does, oftentimes it doesn't, and then we have to go try some, some other stuff. Um, if you can get this, this rounded position, but at the bottom you come down and then at the top you lose it. You end up like here, okay? Um, what I'm thinking there is you probably need to bring the hips, okay? You're not initiating with your legs. You're not keeping the load on your legs throughout the exercise. So you, for, or you forget what they feel like. That was a little bit of a twi tongue twister, twist tonguer. Um, you forget what the legs, the glutes and the hamstrings feel like during the deadlift. And then you just rely on what you know, which is your low back arching. Hopefully that explains some of the cues. Those are just the cues that I use. Round your low back, bring the hips forward. If they don't work, I need to give you more tools. I need to, I can't just expect you to figure out how to get in this position. I need to teach you other ways on how to get in this position. And sometimes just words aren't enough. As a coach, I can use 
uh, touch as a cue to really help uh, somebody figure this out. I've had I've had people who on their hands and knees can't figure out how to round their back, even if they rock their butt all the way back. They just don't know what it feels like. So I'll sit there and I'll deadlift their bellies up so that they can kind of like give in and feel what that feels like. And once you know how to do those motions, it's easier to find them again in other scenarios. So that's why we take easy, simple things and then we gradually step by step progress you to something that is more complicated. I hope that helps. If it does, feel free to send this playlist or this video or who, whatever to whoever you know who might need help. Um, that would really help me out and hopefully help them out unless I'm full of hot air. But I don't, I, this seems pretty proven. <laughs> um, thanks for watching.